Today we're going to make a video on the Sonoff switch that has a built-in or has a temperature and humidity sensor uh, attachment to it. And I'm going to put that in my garage freezer so I can keep tabs on the temperature in that freezer in case the power goes out or something else happens to it since it's outside in the heat all the time. So let's get started. All right, so I picked up a Sonoff TH16 temperature humidity sensor. It's a Wi-Fi, it's basically a Wi-Fi switch and it has the ability to, uh, or has a sensor component to it as well. So you can monitor uh, humidity and temperature. And so I have this one here. I uh, you can put multiple types of sensors. You can have this one, but I like this one better. So I'm gonna put this inside my freezer in my garage so I can keep it keep tabs on what my temperature is in my freezer. And so let's unbox this thing and see what we have. Let's take it off real quick. It's probably not much to it. There we go. And all you have is little instruction manual tells you how to get started with it and then uh, some other information that's in a language that I don't understand so we will not worry about those two this is the actual device right here and you'll notice that you have a couple of uh, slits here and that's where we're going to put our power connector. And because of that, I bought this little cable or this little uh, power cord right here. And the reason I bought it is because it has this really uh, thin cable. And I'm going to be able to cut this off. And you can build your own cable if you want to. But I'm going to cut this, uh, this off right here. And I'm going to uh, be able to put these, uh, this through these little slits right here. And that will allow me to power it and have the uh, cable not be exposed on the outside. So let's go uh, get this thing uh, put together. I'm going to go ahead and build this cable and get it wired up. And then I'll show you at the end what I've done. And then we'll configure it and get it ready to go into my home assistant setup. So let's get started on the wiring. Okay, I've got it all wired up here. Um, the cover's back on. This particular cord that I showed doesn't have a uh, black and white or neutral and hot. So um, you can tell on some of these cords, and this is, I'm not an electrician or anything, so use at your own risk when you do this, but there's bumps which are hard to see on here. They whack, whack the camera here. It's really hard to see it. Um, there are bumps on the, the cable itself that denote the, the L, the load side, and then the neutral side is the flat side. So I'm going to go and uh, get this uh, configured and added to my Sonoff list of equipment, which will be the first item. And then we'll get all configured. So let's head to our next step. All right, you can see here that the light is flashing. So it's now in um, a pairing mode. So um, 
what we're going to do next is we're going to get on the app and we're going to pair this up with the with the app. I already signed up for an account on my Sonoth uh, app, so we'll skip that step and go straight to pairing. All right, so let's add a device here. We're going to do a quick pairing right there. And we're going to allow that. That's fine. And then we're going to put in the Wi-Fi password. All right, now we're looking for the device, which is currently pairing in pairing mode. We'll see if it finds it. All right, it didn't work, so we're going to try it again. Quick pairing. So we're in quick pairing mode and we're waiting, looking for a device. Right now it's looking for the device. And we'll see if it finds it. Okay, we got another pairing failed, so all the difficulties all the difficulties I was having is actually due to not being on a 2.4 only network. The Sonoff requires a 2.4 gigahertz network. So I went ahead and changed it to a 2.4 gigahertz network within my my Wi-Fi setup. And now I'm connecting, looking for device, retrieving the device info. And we're going to register the, the device and now we're done, right? So I'm going to rename it to something a little bit more exciting here. So let's say garage, um, garage freezer. And we'll be done. Put it in the other room. It's connecting to Wi-Fi. As it might take a few minutes, but it doesn't. And here we are. We now have a new device connected to my Sonoff account which will allow me to then connect that to um, Home Assistant. So we're going to push the button now. You'll see that it turns on. You can't hear it, but the switch actually clicks in the box and then turn it back off again. And I see there's a firmware update. So let's go ahead and update the firmware. We find the spot here and we're in current version 2.9. We're going to continue. Or we're going to click the update now button. We're going to confirm it and we'll let the upgrade happen. It's pretty quick. Uh, meanwhile, let me fix the name. It's freeze it is not a name. How about freezer? That's ch changed successfully now. And pretty soon here, we'll see that the uh, firmware has also upgraded. And there we go. The upgrade is successful. And now we have a working system or working uh, switch. And I'll turn it on and off again one more time. And you'll see that the firmware update is over with or not showing anymore. So we're good to go. Okay, so starting here at my Home Assistant dashboard, as I like to do, this, uh, this uh, Sonoff integration requires a plugin, an HACS. If you're not using HACS, make sure you are uh, because it's the easy way to do things. Um, it's the Home Assistant Community Store or Home, Ass yeah, Home Assistant Community Store. And so we're going to install an integration. But since we don't have the Sonoff integration already, we're going to have to create a uh, custom or add a custom repository. And I'm going to install a an integration custom repository. And I just happen to have it memorized kind of sort of except it's written down on notepad over here Sonoff LAN I'm going to add that and it is there control Sonoff devices with EWE link firmware over LAN okay so if I look down here I should hopefully see Sonoff I think I've frozen my browser. Yep. And so here's Sonoff LAN. I'm going to go ahead and install it. And we'll click on install. So it requires a restart of Home Assistant. So I'm going to go over here to configuration. And I'm going to go to server controls, check configuration for good measure. Everything's valid. And I'm going to restart. And we will see you when it comes back.
Okay, so Home Assistant has restarted with the HACS integration. So now we will configure our YAML file, our configuration.yaml to use the Sonoff account. And for that, I'm gonna to go to a terminal. I'm gonna to change to config. Let's see, uh, make it a little bit bigger for you all to be able to read that. Uh, right config and then we will uh, open up the config dot configuration dot yaml file and I will go anywhere in here maybe something like this right here and I will put in sonoff indent two spaces for correct yaml username and I'm using a secrets file so I'm going to use secret sonoff pass and password I will do the same thing secret sonoff pass and how about sonoff user for this one because that makes more sense right all right and then we will do force update we're doing the force update so that the device will not fall off the radar as it were so we're going to force update the temperature and the power and we will do a scan interval for update of five minutes so um yep we'll do zero 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 five zero zero for the scan update it's optional but i'm gonna put it in there anyway it's it defaults to five minutes in fact i'm gonna make this one minute and then my sensors will be uh temperature and humidity and power i'm just going to do them all so they'll come across uh, and then I can use them as I need them in my automations or my dashboard displays. All right. So that is the setting. Those are the settings for the configuration.yaml file. So once we make these, this save, or once I save this, we'll have to reboot again or restart Home Assistant. So we'll do that now. So let me save it. Nope. I typed something there funny there we go save it all right let's go back over to uh, configuration and put our screen size back to normal we'll go to um, server controls just check the config that we just updated there and one more restart and we'll see in just a second All right, so Home Assistant has started. So if I did everything right and my device is online, which it is, because I'm looking at it over here on the floor, you can't see it, but there it is. It should show up in my developer tools and my states. And as a matter of fact, since I already had this filtered earlier, there it is. So I filtered for Sonoff. I have my uh, temperature sensor. 79.3 degrees Fahrenheit. My humidity is 50% and my switch is turned off. That particular sensor allows you to turn on and off uh, the switch or on and off an output. So you can turn on and off something. I believe it holds up to 15 amps. Uh, not holds, it will handle up to 15 amps worth of uh, current draw. So you could put something decent on there. But there it is. Now we have our Sonoff temperature and humidity sensor. And the next step for me to do is go put that in the freezer and start getting it recording some data. Uh, you can use automations. I use Node Red, or you can use other automations in Home Assistant to be able to alert you if that temperature sensor records something higher than you think it should. So in a freezer, whatever the temperature should be in the freezer, alert you if it's uh, getting, getting too warm and you can investigate that without losing all of your your frozen foods that are in there. All right. Well, that's pretty simple. Um, that's about it for this video. 
I'm going to go ahead and build out some automations for it. Maybe I'll make another video on that here in a little bit, and we'll put that up afterwards. But for now, I appreciate you watching all the way to the end. And if you have any comments, let me know. Put them down below. Hit that like and subscribe button. Hit the bell icon so you get notified when I make new videos. And we will see you on the next one. Cheerios!